Right, so on the 58th minute, Kevin Danso did this. Another one, go on, Manny! And on the 73rd minute, Kevin Danso did this. Oh, he's off! I knew it! I didn't need to dive in. So in this episode, I'm going to give you five reasons why we need to talk about Kevin. Hello and welcome to the Matchday Vlogs YouTube channel. On this channel we vlog the home games at St Mary's and occasional away games. So if you're a fan of Southampton Football Club or football in general, consider subscribing. And be sure to put that bell on so you're notified of any new content that arrives on this channel. Right, I want to talk about Kevin Danso because if you watched Match of the Day, you probably didn't see anything about Kevin Danso apart from the two yellow cars and the sending off. But from what I saw in the game, there was still a lot to be excited about. So I'm going to give you five things that I noticed during the game that filled me with a lot of confidence for Kevin Danso. So um, here we go, rolling off with number one. He's quick, he's very quick. For the two appearances he's had, he's been playing in the left back position, which I'm not sure is ultimately the preferred position for potentially what we're looking at at centre back. Uh, he has quite a bit of pace to him, so that's number one. Number two, he has a very long throw. I don't think we've had a player at Southampton who can do a long throw in for a long time. So there were a couple of occasions where suddenly we're in the final third of the pitch, they goes out for a throw in and our players start walking into the penalty area and I'm thinking, wait a minute, what's going on here? We haven't seen this in a while. So that is very exciting because we all know when we get into the final third and we have a throw in, pretty much imminent that we're gonna be giving the ball away. So that's number two. Number three, his influence on other players. Uh, I'm wondering if it's any surprise that Yannick Vestergaard suddenly had the game of his life. You know, when you've got a group of players fighting for their position in the squads, ultimately they raise their game so that's another positive to see more talent in the back line we're obviously bring out the best of our existing players number four he's young he's only 20 years old i think turning 21 on the 19th of september so he's still a very young player which ultimately might have been the reason why he ended up getting sent off i could see exactly what was going through his mind he was thinking there's no way on my first home appearance at St Mary's am I gonna let this young McTominay player get past me and ultimately he's jumped in and got it horribly wrong. But I still stand by the fact that I don't think that first yellow was a yellow. I think it was a bit of a one of those coming together, perhaps a little bit clumsy. You can see them giving, you can see them not giving. So he's still young. He will mature, that experience will come. And the fifth and final one would be, what is his preferred position? For the two occasions he's played for Southampton, he's played in kind of a left back role. Because of his pace, he did quite well there, but I think ultimately he's more of a centre back position, perhaps maybe being a central defensive midfield player, who knows? But I think ultimately the pace on those wings, again, might be a reason why he got caught out and ended up getting sent off on the side. So there we go. Like I said, if anyone watched Match of the Day, they probably just saw a couple cars being showed to Kevin Danzo and think, oh great, one hour. So I just wanted to put that out there to show that we can still be positive about our loanee with an option to buy signing Kevin Danzo and hopefully be back fit and ready for the home game against Bournemouth. Should be a very good game. Six goals between us in the last meeting. So hopefully we can win that 3-0 when we polish up our defensive issues. All eyes on you, Kevin. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like I said, we vlog the home games at St Mary's and occasional away games. So if you're a fan of Southampton Football Club or football in general, consider subscribing and be sure to put that little bell on. That one right there. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe. But more importantly than that, come on new sets. Right, that's it. See ya. Thank you.